Hello everyone, welcome to the second series of Operation Blackfoot 2025. Um, in this video, I'll be walking you through uh, one of the Sherlock from the same CTF, uh, which is called Phantom Check. Um, and uh, so the scenario for this Sherlock is again a generic one uh, where a Italian suspects that the detector has carried out some uh, anti virtualization checks uh, just to detect if the malware is running in or the attacker is in a sandbox environments. So our task for this Sherlock is to analyze uh, the scripts and the TTPs used by the attacker. Um, so this is a very easy Sherlock and I have already downloaded the files here and loaded them, uh, the artifact files and loaded them here in, in Splunk. So uh, without wasting much time, let's get started with our first task. Uh, which WMI class did the attacker use to retrieve model and uh, manufacture information? So the logs provided for this shell log uh, is, uh, I mean, both the logs are for PowerShell, uh, uh, PowerShell logs. Uh, and yeah, it, it, it pretty much sums up that uh, uh, like we do, we have to analyze all the logs uh, for PowerShell that for, or that was logged by the PowerShell uh, in the Windows machine. Um, so yeah, uh, so whenever we use, I mean, I mean, the attacker uses uh, PowerShell. Um, they, there is one uh, CMB led that is very popular when uh, querying WMI objects. So, uh, so we will first run index or star. Please don't do this uh, in the organization, as I mean, it's just, there are just very less logs, and so I'm doing this. So, this is not a good practice to do it in a huge organization. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we have two source types here, one is will event log in those PowerShell and one is PowerShell operation. So uh, we just look for, uh, you know, the Windows PowerShell tool to get the answer and the popular, uh, you know, same billion that I was talking about is a get WMI uh, object. I already have it here. So we will just search for any logs at okay uh, so we do see a couple of logs and uh, the question is uh, which uh, which uh, WMI class was used to retrieve model and manufacture so uh, we have uh, so this uh, looks to be the answer I mean as you can see uh, the attack, uh, the query here looks for model and also, uh, yeah, the so this this actually gives us the model and what the question is asking per model and the manufacturing information. Uh, so the answer for this first task should be uh, in thirty two computer system class. You'll just submit this. Oh, maybe I did something wrong when I copied it. Okay, not sure why it worked, but anyways, the yeah, that's the answer for the first one. And uh, the second one, uh, which WMI query did the attacker execute to retrieve the current temperature? Uh, so we'll also follow the same stuff here, uh, same query, and we also see like in the, the first, the results of the result of, of the first query the, that we ran, uh, we see that. Uh, there is uh, also another query that was executed where using the same uh, same billet that uh, the attacker is uh, querying the temp thermal temperature, thermal zone temperature, and uh, 
gives a the temperature i mean um, the, the current temperature of the virtual machine or the machine that uh, this query is executed so we i think yeah we have to uh, the question is asking for the complete query so we we'll submit uh, whole query here Uh, for the task three, the attacker loaded a PowerShell script to detect virtual machine. Uh, which, uh, what is the function name? Okay. Um, so we, the question clearly states, uh, like the attacker has used some script for detecting uh, virtualization. Um, so in the query, uh, we can say something like, uh, I mean, uh, the attacker or the script that attacker executed uh, is, I mean, will definitely have some uh no keywords related to uh some of the well known uh virtual machines so we'll just query uh this and uh we'll maybe get rid of this cool yeah perfect so we do have uh, like two logs uh one uh yeah two event ids here, uh, one is 293 and we also have two source types here. So, uh, it looks interesting. Uh, we'll see how the query looks like in Windows of PowerShell. Event well. Okay. So this looks like the only script that was executed uh, when the script was executed. Uh, but yeah, we are we will be more interested in looking at a, a, a whole script rather than just a snippet of it. So we'll uh, filter the logs for PowerShell operational and. So this is the script ID and this is uh, the virtual box vehicle. So uh, yeah, this looks interesting. I mean, we can again filter it out uh, to just look for the particular script ID. I mean, what it has to offer for us. Um, so we don't actually see any uh any any function names over here. Um, yeah, it, we we see only like a snippet of it. Uh, yeah. One more thing that we can do is uh, look for the event ID four one zero one as it gives us all the pro oh shit script that was loaded. Uh, there are like a couple of queries that was executed here. Um, okay, so I will explore this as it has more lines uh, logged in this particular event. And yeah, perfect. So here uh, we see like the whole script that was executed. Uh, and yeah, we do see a lot of uh, query that were executed by the script and it is uh, discovering like a lot of uh, virtual machine stuff uh, like VMware, Chillbox, Hyper-V and etc. So the name of the function for this should be over here. Yeah. Oh, check here. So let's submit this and wait for okay yeah so we got it right uh, it's check pm and it'll move on to the next task uh, which registry key did the above to the service treated uh, so, yeah um so in the query we see that uh 
every every time uh, the script is looking for the services it is querying uh, this particular registry hype uh, as you can see for hyper v it does the same it does the same for virtual uh, vmware virtual box uh, so yeah apc vm um, and and this uh, the answer for this is uh, straightforward oh. yeah another way to just uh, get this answer would be i mean uh, it's pretty, this this registry hive is pretty much available in most a lot of threat intelligence uh, that are provided uh, available in the uh, internet so we can just say uh, if there is any process that is actually querying uh, this particular i and uh, looks like some passing issue here yeah you can also do something like just to get rid of the splunk in here yeah uh since i don't have the the fields that were extracted from this event id is so i have to do this but uh, it's pretty much i mean when you are searching in your sock environment i think a lot of fields would be extracted and you can just look for this value and uh, maybe create a correlation rule saying uh, like uh, any powershell uh, hidden powershell that is varying this particular id uh, as we discussed uh, discussed it in the ground worm video like Uh, attacker would definitely be using a powershell run i mean uh, it makes no sense running powershell on the web foreground so in order for attackers to run anything on the victim machine they have to do it in a hidden window so you can say like you can create a correlation to saying a powershell uh, process running in a hidden window and querying all these uh, values okay so with that we'll submit this answer um the so the task by is uh, the vm detection script can also identify a chill box which process is it comparing to determine if the vm is running virtual box okay so yeah Uh, we will go back to yeah okay we already have it here i mean we'll just explore it over here and we will analyze the script and we'll try finding if yeah so we have a virtual box comment over here and this looks like the script that actually uh, compares for uh, these processes and determines if the machine is running virtual box or not um yeah so the the question also asks for the same which process is it comparing with so these are the two process that the script is comparing and uh, we will submit these processes uh yeah so another uh, the the you know the main point over here is not not to just find the answers uh, it, it uh, it's how you can use these in your day to day uh, sock activities uh, so for for example for this uh, particular thing uh, i mean again you can uh, run the query and look for if any uh, partial process that is actually querying uh, these uh, processes and uh, you can write a correlation rule for the same so the main uh, the main point over here for the players to learn is how they can actually use these uh, information in in, in their day to day sock activities when uh, doing uh, threat hunting in, internally so yeah 
so, so you can actually use these processes i mean like there are a lot of other stuff that you can use uh for bm where we have another uh, okay we look for vm where yeah. so we for bm where we have like uh, if there is any match for these stuff over here and it also uh, has queries this particular hive um yeah uh, for yeah for 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 the vm where we have vm uh vm where user.exe and you can include all these and create a correlation tool so anytime such activities happen uh, you get an alert yeah uh, so we'll with that we'll move on to the next question that is task 6 uh, the last one the vm detection script prints any detection with a prefix okay uh, which two virtualization platform did the script detect okay the question it gives us i mean points us out or nudges uh, us to find the answer so we'll just see what we have uh, when we run this query we have two logs uh, there are two event ids over here and uh, okay we have two event ids over here one is 4104 we are more interested on uh, 4103 as it logs uh, the output of the script and here we see like the output actually was two vm machine uh, because uh, the vm where was running uh, in a windows machine so that the uh, it had a uh, hyper v enabled so we got two answers uh, uh, when we executed this query so we'll submit this as an answer and okay right uh so yeah uh, again uh, the take away from the last question is like we can, you we can actually see uh let's say an attacker has executed this particular query and uh using the windows powershell uh, operational logs and 4103 event id you can actually see uh, what the script uh, uh actually uh, gave uh, attacker as an output so you can we can all add this in in the correlation and uh, determine what actually went out uh, or what act, uh, attacker actually saw uh, when you all when you or she was using powershell uh, during the attack So uh that's it guys uh thank you for watching i hope uh you guys were able to learn something new uh, in this video and uh uh yeah uh see you guys in the next series which will be last one uh, for the operation blackout